What's up guys, my name is Andre, and welcome to a new video. Today we are going to talk about display refresh rate and gameplay recording. A lot of people have no idea how their display's refresh rate matters when it comes to record a gameplay or simply play back a video from YouTube. In the US, the common refresh rate is 60Hz, in the UK, 50Hz, but nowadays even 24fps video is uploaded to YouTube, but we'll come back to 24fps later. For starters, a LCD display refreshes differently from a CRT. Well, on a LCD the word refresh is used to describe the moment when the pixels are reloaded with new color information to form the picture, the light however stays on all the time. On a CRT, an electron gun wipes the screen from top to bottom, which contains phosphor particles at the end of it. When the electron gun fires the electrons on the phosphor, it glows. That happens 60 times per second, 60 Hz on a standard CRT in the US, and 50 times per second, 50 Hz in the UK, which is already well enough to produce visible flicker, since the decay time of the phosphor particles is about 22 milliseconds. But wait, what does all this information have to do with video recording? Well, it basically explains the monitor's ability to display frames, and it matters because the refresh rate of the, of the video must be a multiple of the frame rate used in the video. So if you are in the US, 60Hz will play back fine 30 and 60fps video. If you are in the UK, 50 or 75Hz will play back fine 25 and 50fps 50 50 video, as well as 75fps. And why does the video only play fine on displays that use a refresh rate multiple of the frame rate of the video? The answer is stuttering. Because on a 50Hz display, when we play back 50fps video, all the pixels in the display are refreshed constantly and receive new color information. So each frame of the video means one refresh in the display. If we play back 25fps video, one frame means two refreshes in the display, causing some type of jittering. But now if we try to play back 30fps video on a 50Hz display, one frame would mean 1.66 refreshes on the screen, which is not possible because the refresh rate is locked to an oscillator, which drives the refresh rate precisely. Now we come to gameplay recording. Because of the explained above, the same principles apply when recording a video. If your display runs at 60Hz, and I mean refresh rate, you should activate VSync to assure smooth video recording. The same goes for 50 and 75Hz. If you try to record your game at 75Hz and then on editing bring the FPS down to 60FPS to upload to YouTube, the video is going to be stuttery. Instead, in this situation, you should bring the FPS down to 50 or even 25FPS. Now some would say, the problem would be solved if you didn't record a gameplay using VSync. But the reality is that you would face abnormally high screen tearing. And what about 24FPS as you said in the beginning of the video? Well, the same principle applies. To achieve smooth video playback, the refresh rate of the display would have to be 48Hz or even 72Hz. So if you want to record a video um, and then make a cinematic, cinematic out of it, you can record the game with VSync at 72 frames per second, and then on editing you can bring that down safely to 24fps with no stuttering. So that's it for this video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next one.